Gold. I am 28 years old. My rank is private and my specialization is sniper. I've been deployed to uh, East Timor and I've also been deployed to Afghanistan. We run under our own rules, regulations, and we have our own agendas. We work in a team environment. However, how we choose to do things is not dictated by hierarchy because they don't fully understand what it is that we do. It's seen as special forces of the special forces. And if it's wet and cold, if it's in the middle of Afghanistan in winter and it's minus 30 degrees and you're crawling through the snow, laying down hurts for three, four, five, six hours in one position without being able to move. Looking through a scope, looking for one thing, you know, when you have to piss, you gotta roll over, you know, and then lay back in your own piss. It's not the most pleasant job, but it is very rewarding when it's done correctly. And the first time you're sort of out and amongst it by yourselves and you're sitting on top of a mountain, 20 k's away from the nearest people, and there's only five of you. Um, it's a little bit daunting when you sort of sit back and look at the situation. Again, you've got a fairly large responsibility on your shoulders because if you don't report something that gets someone killed, then you've got to sort of deal with that. A team of snipers is a very cohesive group that works very well and can really be a game changer if it's employed correctly. You have an ability to separate yourself from a situation or whatever it is you're doing. And you have an ability to become amoral and look at something from a very objective standpoint as if it's not real life. If someone shoots you, you kill them. You're almost born with it. It's actually quite easy, apart from the fact that you might get you know, killed every day. But that's sort of in the back of your mind. It's not really in the full thought, because if it was, you wouldn't be there. You'd just freak out. You're instilling fear into everyone else in that camp because they might be next. So it's a bit of a different psychological game. I wouldn't say traumatizing in any way because at the end of the day, you're doing that to save the lives of your friends. They don't know it's coming. They don't know you're there. It's totally unexpected. It feels almost cheeky, but you know, they've got them too. So all's fair in love and war, I suppose. I don't think we have no emotion. I think we have an ability to put emotion in perspective. Sometimes it's needed, sometimes it's not. There's a difference between someone shooting at you and you popping up and shooting them. Uh, and there's a difference between that and being one and a half k's away and someone sitting there having a coffee and shooting them in the head. There's a definite psychological difference between doing those two things. I've done both and they play on you a little bit differently. When someone's shooting at you, you, just, you just, there's no remorse, you don't care because they're trying to kill you. So fair play is fair play. 